Sarojini Naidu, the 13th of February 1879 to the 2nd of March 1949, was an Indian independence activist and poet. She was born in a Bengali Hindu family at Hyderabad and was educated in Chennai, London, and Cambridge. She married Dr. Govindarajulu Naidu and settled down in Hyderabad. She took part in the national movement, became a follower of Mahatma Gandhi and fought for the attainment of Swaraj. She became the President of Indian National Congress and later she was appointed to the Governor of the United Provinces, now Uttar Pradesh. Known as the ''Nightingale of India,'' she was also a noted poet. Her poetry includes children's poems, nature poems, patriotic poems and poems of love and death. She also wrote poetry in praise of Muslim figures like Imam Hussain. Early life and family Sarojini was born in a Bengali Hindu family in Hyderabad. Her parental home was at Brahmangan in Bikrampur in present-day Bangladesh. Her father, Agorinath Chattopadhyay, with a doctorate of science from Edinburgh University, settled in Hyderabad, where administered Hyderabad College, which later became Nizam College in Hyderabad. Her mother, Bharata Sundari Devi Chattopadhyay, was a poet and used to write poetry in Bengali. She was the eldest of the eight siblings. Her brother Varendranath Chattopadhyaya was a revolutionary, and another brother Harindranath was a poet, a dramatist, and an actor. Sarojini Naidu, having passed her matriculation examination from the University of Madras, took a four-year break from her studies. In 1895, H.E.H. the Nizam's charitable trust founded by the sixth Nizam, Mir Mahbub Ali Khan who gave her the chance to study in England, first at King's College London and later at Girton College, Cambridge. Sarojini met Payapati Govindarajulu Naidu, a physician, and at the age of 19, after finishing her studies, she married him. At that time, inter-caste marriages were not as common as they are today, but both their families approved their marriage. The couple had five children. Their daughter Payapati Padmaha also joined the independence movement and was part of the Quit India movement. She was appointed the governor of the state of West Bengal soon after Indian independence. Political career Naidu joined the Indian national movements in the wake of partition of Bengal in 1905. She came in contact with Gopal Krishna Gokhale, Rabindranath Tagore, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, Annie Besant, C. P. Ramaswamy Iyer, Mahatma Gandhi, and Jawaharlal Nehru. In 1915 18, she travelled to different regions in India delivering lectures on social welfare, women's empowerment, and nationalism. She also helped to establish the Women's Indian Association in 1917. She was sent to London along with Annie Besant, President of Home Rule League and Women's Indian Association, to present the case for the women's vote to the Joint Select Committee. In April 1947 she was present at the Asian Relations Conference in Delhi where the Tibetan government representative, Samphothe G, said, in a similar way we are very glad to meet representatives from all the Asian countries in this conference and we wish to express our sincere gratitude to the great Indian leaders, Mahatma Gandhi, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru and Mrs. Sarojini Naidu, and to all the distinguished representatives who have gathered in this conference. Congress Party President In 1925, Naidu presided over the annual session of Indian National Congress at Kanpur in 1929, she presided over East African Indian Congress in South Africa. She was awarded the Kaiser I. Hind Medal by the British government for her work during the plague epidemic in India. In 1931, she participated in the second round table conference with Gandhiji and Maidan Mohan Malviya. She was jailed, along with Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru, Maidan Mohan Malviya, and others for participating in the Salt March, when first round table conference took place in London. She played a leading role in the civil disobedience movement and was jailed along with Gandhi and other leaders. In 1942, she was arrested during period of the Quit India Movement. Sarojini Naidu began writing at the age of 12. Her Persian play, Mar Munir, impressed the Nawab of Hyderabad. In 1905, her first collection of poems, named The Golden Threshold was published. The volume bore an introduction by Arthur Simons. 
Her poems were admired by prominent Indian politicians like Gopal Krishna Gokhale. The Feather of the Dawn which contained poems written in 1927 by Naidu was edited and published posthumously in 1961 by her daughter Padmaha Naidu. Death and legacy Naidu died of cardiac arrest at 3.30 pm on 2 March 1949 at the Government House in Lucknow. Upon her return from New Delhi on 15 February, she was advised rest by her doctors, and all official engagements were cancelled. Her health deteriorated substantially and bloodletting was performed on the night of 1 March after she complained of severe headache. She died after collapsing following a fit of cough. Naidu was said to have asked the nurse attending to her to sing to her at about 10.40 pm east, which put her to sleep. The last rites were performed at the Gomati River. Naidu is commemorated in the names of several institutions, including the Sarojini Naidu College for Women, Sarojini Naidu Medical College, Sarojini Devi I Hospital, and Sarojini Naidu School of Arts and Communication, University of Hyderabad. Aldous Huxley wrote, It has been our good fortune, while in Bombay, to meet Mrs. Sarojini Naidu, the newly elected President of the All India Congress and a woman who combines in the most remarkable way great intellectual power with charm, sweetness with courageous energy, a wide culture with originality, and earnestness with humour. If all Indian politicians are like Mrs. Naidu, then the country is fortunate indeed. Her 135th birth anniversary 2014 was marked by a Google Doodle on Google India's homepage. Topic Golden Threshold The Golden Threshold is an off-campus annex of University of Hyderabad. The building was the residence of Naidu's father Aghornath Chattopadhyay, the first principal of Hyderabad College. It was named after Naidu's collection of poetry. Golden Threshold now houses Sarojini Naidu School of Arts and Communication of University of Hyderabad. During the Chattopadhyay family's residence, it was the centre of many reformist ideas in Hyderabad, in areas ranging from marriage, education, women's, empowerment, literature, and nationalism. Topic works each year links to its corresponding year in poetry article 1905 The Golden Threshold published in the United Kingdom text available online 1912 The Bird of Time Songs of Life Death and the Spring published in London 1917 The Broken Wing Songs of Love Death and the Spring including The Gift of India first read in public in 1915 1916 Muhammad Jinnah An Ambassador of Unity 1943 The Sceptered Flute Songs of India Allahabad Key Tabistan, posthumously published 1961, The Feather of the Dawn, posthumously published, edited by her daughter, Padmaha Naidu 1971, The Indian Weavers. See also Indian poetry in English Indian English literature Indian literature List of Indian poets List of Indian writers Indian poetry <laughs>